I'm running it back. What up, YouTube? Back again with another video. We got a boy's 370Z. Michael, I bagged it about a year and a half, two years ago or something. And we're just upgrading the management. So he's on a V2 system right now. And we are going to upgrade. He basically, we're getting rid of the whole management. He got new tank. He's gonna run dual compressors and then the 3P system without the height sensors. And we're gonna try to get this out of here because in a hatch, the compressors are really loud. So we're gonna try to get it down here. He's got a smaller tank. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit down here. We're gonna try to make it fit. And if not, keep the tank up top and put the compressors and everything else underneath but yeah so pretty much got everything um the main harness the second compressor harness some fittings for the new tank new water trap uh some the isolators for the compressors more fittings than the dual stout Fire 444 C compressors and the airlift tank and then obviously the airlift 3P. So I'm gonna start taking all this old stuff out, get all the wiring out, and we'll go from there to see if we can get everything in there. Alright, so got everything out. <laughs> the biker boy showed up. All right, so everything's out. Um, old management is, oh, um, I don't know, wiring somewhere. But I got the new wiring, oh, motherfucker. I got the new wiring all um, taped together. So, like I said, it's two harnesses for both compressors. And I like to electrical tape them together. So when I run them through the car, it makes it a lot easier and they're together. So it kind of makes it into one harness. So I'm going to try to feed it either through that hole or that hole. I think it'll fit through there. Probably not looking at this side. I might just run it over or through. I don't know. I'm going to figure out where to get it through and then ran. Now, usually I run harnesses on the driver's side because the battery is all like a lot of the times is on the driver's side but on these cars the driver's on the passenger side so it's a lot easier you see the batteries right here and then just cut a hole through this grommet right here and feed a line i usually use an airline i'll put the airline through um to the other side and then i'll tape the tip of that harness to the airline and then pull it through and pretty pretty simple like that so I had the old harness ran through these clips where this factory I don't know harness is but that harness is a lot bigger and thicker now because there's two so I don't think I'm gonna be able to I'm probably gonna have to run it on the inside of this um, the carpet all the way down and so I threw here underneath all this stuff and then to the back. So I'm gonna start running that through now. All right, quick update, just a mock-up. So I got these fittings plugged and down there to here. Manifold's gonna go in the middle. Airlines will shoot right in. This one had to go on top because I don't want to cut more out of this foam thing. So we just ran it up top. It's looking good. All right, y'all, I'm wrapping things up. It's already getting late. I almost forgot to record. <laughs> Fuck, I'm tired. But yeah, here we have it. So we got the tank drain out. Pop this open real quick. Oh. So, pretty much it. Yeah. 
pretty. <laughs> It ain't nothing special, but it gets it up out of the way. He has full trunk space now, and hopefully it keeps down the compressor noise in the cab. So I'm finished uh, putting up, or putting in the last of the panels, um, plug in the controller, and wire it up to the battery, and then we should be good. So let's get back to the rest of it. All right, so we are on the calibration step. Uh, make sure you're sitting in your car when you do the calibration Just so it gets like the pressures and everything um, Good actually just finished calibrating Finish all the wiring and stuff. It wasn't turning on but the connection to the manifold wasn't on all the way so Plugged it in everything's good Now we can set our presets So the middle one is your ride height this one above is for a higher setting like going in and out of driveways possibly and then this one down here it can be like um, a slam setting where you drive really low or you can put them wherever you want honestly and then you can change this top one i think there's like four different modes to change it hold on so to get into the settings, you're gonna wanna push this airlift and the one right above it together. Goes into settings. And then you can mess with all your stuff. So see, here's the all up button, which is the one up here. All up button, you can change it. You want it to, to only lift up the front. For this top button, you can push it, only lift up the front. So we're gonna go down that top button is going to be the front up only and then the all down button which is this bottom one um you can have it air all the way out you can have it to put the front all the way down all down well obviously you guys can see to whatever you want it to be um i'm just gonna put air out and then you can change like the brightness, all that stuff. I'll let him mess with that. The operation. Do you want it to rise on start? Like every time you turn the switch, it'll air up. So rise on start. Every time your system turns on, it'll air up to your, your right height for you. And then your preset maintain. I like to keep that on because it, it keeps your the pressures and all your bags um, to your designated um, preset. And then you can change like your minimum drive height, um, pressure and height. I think that's for if you have the sensors. Axle equalization. Um, yeah, you wanna keep that on. And your Bluetooth. And then if you're running dual compressors, hit your compressors. And then the calibration, it asks you to, but obviously it's on dual. Max pressure, I'm gonna put at 175. Or you know, I'm gonna put 165, uh, I'll put 170. 170. And then the duty cycle, um, I'm gonna leave it at 50. So now you can go home and now you can set your preset. So push it once till you see the green, then you're gonna wanna hold it. Then now to change your presets, you hit these manual buttons. So this is the front left, front right, rear left, rear right. And you guys can see there's two buttons. So, oh, it went out. So I'm actually gonna, um, air up, air up, and then so I'm gonna hold this preset. And what was the what was your 105 front, 65 rear, 105 in the front, and then uh, 65 in the rears. 
And once you got that, just hold it again and it saves. So now, there's your preset. And then you can do it to all your other presets. That's pretty much it. All right, y'all. Kind of slacked on the videos a little bit on going like in depth with everything. But if you guys have any questions or need help with anything I can possibly help you with, leave a comment and get back to you as soon as I can. Hope the video helped y'all. Peace out.